Hello guys, this is Ramin with Ramin Digital on YouTube and RaminDigital.com. Um, I have a new uh, Vegas Pro tutorial for all of our subscribers. This is uh, how to make a, a nice, simple, cool outro. Um, to, I'm going to show you, this might take a little bit longer time, but I'm going to try to simplify it as much as I can. Uh, first thing what I did on here, um, I put some time uh, markers in there. We want this thing to be no more than 10 seconds, okay? So I put a little audio track in there, which is a, which is a cool one, okay? So now what we want to do, in this case, I saw you saw the preview, I have two windows and a whole bunch of text and a whole bunch of what channels, what your channels are, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. So what I'm going to do, I have a couple of placeholders. I use placeholders, then you can change those things to your video. So I'll bring one placeholder, image number one, I'll put it on top of the track, um, extend it to like one to the 10 seconds. Uh, it's the whole entire page, we don't want to do this thing. Go into your uh, track motion and select it. Make sure your lock aspect ratio and centering is turned on because otherwise you'll be lopsided. So make sure these two are clicked. Just grab this guy and then reduce it to whatever the size that you want. I mean for now I don't know what the size will be the final size so make it like this big. Move this sucker over here and put it somewhere right here out there. Then I have another one for I want to put two placeholder like one image here one image on the bottom of it. Again, extend this thing to make it 10 seconds. Go to your motion track again on this one too. You can copy paste the first track, but if you do it like this, it's the, you can do it this way too. So bring it right underneath this one. It's a little bit too small. So we want to make them the same size. So I would say put it something like that. So now you have two placeholders to put your videos. I'll show you how to, how to replace them with your videos. So you got these two in there. Now you want to put your channel names in there, of course. What I would do, I would put my channel name up here on my website and then all the information. I already have a bunch of text already typed in. So I'm going to bring my text, put it on this track. It says Robin Digital and RobinDigital.com. So I already moved the placement and I put it on this right left top corner. Okay. So when we play this thing, okay, so far so good. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of fade on here so it actually starts like that. So far so good. You, you guys are all with me, right? Then you're gonna make this thing. I'm sure you're gonna make it even better than what I'm doing. So now in here, I have, I'm gonna add a couple of more uh, video tracks in here. In this case, what I wanna put, I wanna put uh, a Facebook uh, icon, an Instagram, a YouTube, a Twitter, okay? So these are the four that I wanna put in there. These were made with Cinema 4D. You can go, go to Google and type in uh, Cinema 4D, social networking icons and there's like millions of hundreds of hundreds of thousands of them they are very free some of them are free some of them are not you can download it give the guy a little bit of credit for doing it and then download it and you can use it in your template so i'm going to bring this facebook thing right put it on on my timeline okay i'm going to again extend it to my 10 second now you see this thing it rotates it animates and it's huge so what I want to do, I want to uh, reduce the size. Again, you can do this thing in a variety of ways, but this is the easiest one I'm telling you because we don't need this track to do anything else. So open up your track motion. Again, make sure these two tabs are checked and just grab this guy and make it whatever the size you want. I would say maybe this size. So bring this guy, I don't know, put it here. It looks too big to me. So I'm going to make it a little bit more small. So now we have our text and we have our Facebook icon. Okay. And it goes in there and since there's a, it's like an eight, six seconds, then after six seconds, it's gonna animate again. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my uh, YouTube in here. Okay. I'm, I'm leaving, I'm skipping one track because I wanna add some text into it. So on my YouTube, I'm gonna do the same thing. See, the YouTube is also pretty big. So now, one thing I can do, I can just open up this one, the size that we did, I can copy this anchor point that I put in there, which has a size. So just right click and copy it, and then go to your this track, your YouTube track, and just select that anchor and paste it on top of this thing. So it makes it exactly duplicate, but it's sitting on top of the Facebook guy, just select it, bring it down a little bit. So in this case, you know, it's exactly what it is. But I think we're gonna have a little problem because there's, you know, I kept that four in there. 
So anyway, I'm gonna add another one, and I'm gonna put um, Instagram in here. The same, the same principle. Since we already copied that motion anchor keyframe, I'm just gonna paste it over it, and it's gonna be on top of this thing. Open up your motion track, and then bring it down here. So now you got three icons. Okay, so far so good. So now we're gonna bring some text in there. Uh, I don't know what this text is. Let me see what this is. Okay, this is Facebook. So I already typed it. You, you can make your own text. But just go media generator, type in text. But I already typed it in, so it's easier. So I'm bring bring my text on top of the Facebook one, and then again extend it to my 10 second. So now the text is just right in the middle. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to um, animate this thing. Again, the more animation you have uh, that stuff moves around, it's better on the eye and it just uh, puts your intro that much higher above everybody else. So in this case, you can just do this and do a fade or you can animate it. Remember we talked about the animation having two points, the, the beginning point and the destination point. We're going to do the same thing. Open up your motion track, track motion, and this is for our text. Just as it, as it is, okay, move it. In this case, just move it behind the, the video that you put in there. You can't see it, it's there. Go about, I don't know, about this much, about maybe a 10 or 15 frames in there. Put an anchor in there and say restore box. This puts it back to original where it was when we before started. Now when you look at this thing, it's dragging a little bit slow. So what you can do, just grab your track motion that you put it on this second, like in the third second, bring it down to like here. Now it's going to go a little faster. Okay, we need to put the Twitter in there. There is the YouTube. So I bring in my YouTube text and I put it on for the YouTube and you see it's showing up here. So one thing, first thing we want to do, go open up your text property and move this guy somewhere that you want it to be. Like I want it to be in front of my YouTube channel right there. And again, the same, the same principle. Open up your track motion. Uh, move this thing out of the out of your picture behind the, one of your placeholders. Go where your other point was right there, and then open this up again. Put an anchor in there and uh, restore box. So now you're gonna have two of these things. Now, if you want them to not to go at the same time, you want them to stagger them. So all you have to do is just your text for your YouTube text. Just move this thing a little bit over here because you already got your track motion to start and finish. So you tell it to start from here rather than here. So what this is gonna do is gonna do this one first, then the second one and the third one. I'm gonna put another one, a couple more tracks in there. Uh, what was it we were gonna do? Instagram. Instagram. So I'm just gonna put the text for Instagram in here. Again, the same principle. Extend this to your 10 seconds. You can make this one shorter to your 10 seconds. Uh, open up your text property, move your Instagram in front of your Instagram information, and then the same same principle. Open up your track motion, push it out of the way, push it behind your two videos, your upcoming videos. Go about a little bit here, I don't know where it is. Put an anchor point and uh, restore box. So that puts it there. So now remember we start from here, and then we wanted to do the same thing. Let me see where our starting point is. It's here. So now we're gonna we have the complete one. Now, if you want the third one to also stagger, you see we started our YouTube from here. Just grab this guy and go right between the two points. So when this one halfway goes in the middle, the next one starts, and when this one goes halfway, it will start. So this is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna set the size for 10 seconds. Okay, so far so good. Now all you have to do, let me just get rid of this track. So replace the placeholders, this two video placeholders is gonna be actually your video. So I'm gonna throw this in there. There's one video, and then there, I have another one that is for the upcoming video. So then what you have, you have a cool intro. I mean, outro, sorry. You can save this thing, save it as your outro template. Then every time you want to change just the videos, just replace them with your new videos and 
you're ready to go again i hope you enjoy this thing please take take this uh tutorial and then just make it a thousand times better and then send me uh, your video so maybe i'll learn something from you guys you know like you say oh i can put something else nice in there i can put some flare i can put some explosion in it just do it and then if you don't mind send it back to me um, we can always add a background to it i'm gonna add a video track in here go to my media generator okay uh, let's see solid color so uh, i, I want to put a white background in there um, bada bing bada boom you got a white background but it might not look too cool so you can use a whole bunch of this stuff that sony vegas already has well, let's say let's use this one it's like a vignette that doesn't look too bad or you can go all out you can i like this orange color so the other thing you can do you can go all out and go to your project media manager actually make your background and also another video why not because you can do so it might get too too uh, busy or too complicated but that even looks better or you know i put the cat in there this is another template that i released free intro or maybe you can put some stars in there or or something else but anyway i hope you enjoy these things again um uh, enjoy this thing make it uh, better make it a thousand times better and be the best at what you do please if you like this video like and subscribe thank you guys